Hey everybody, it's Connie from Connie's Wigging Out. My wigs finally came in that I ordered, the several that I ordered. Um, this is the first one. Uh, this is Renee of Paris, Dakota. She's pretty. She is low density. So if that's what you're into, which is what I'm into, then she's definitely low density. You're not going to find a lot here on the top. It's pretty flat. Let me see how long she is. Um, my first impressions out of the box, um, and I, I'm sure all of you can see, is I got a little kink, a little box hair um, from being in the box. So that would have to be steamed back. Um, and then also, I'm not real sure about this, this piece here. I don't know. It's, it's really strange. And I'm, I'm hoping that maybe this is just box hair as well. And that's why this little piece is kind of kinked. Um, on the specs, it says that the front is eight inches. So, that's these long bangs. Um, and this one is super straight. So I would imagine that this would be straight if um, I put some steam to it. But right now it just has this, I don't know. It just looks sort of weird to me. Um, but like I said, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it. So, of course, I can't touch it or do anything to alter the wig um, until I decide if I want to keep it or not. So, other than that, it is a beauty. Oh, I'm flipping tags. It is a beauty. This is in the color uh, Spring Honey R, which is um, one of my favorite colors. It's relatively straight, but it does have some you know, just some layering down here at the bottom, which sort of gives it a little appearance um, of some curl, a little. Um, you could probably tuck her behind your ear. She'd be cute. I wish I could get rid of that kink. Um, but this is how low density she is. I can tuck both behind my ear really quick with no problem. So again, low density all the way. <laughs> so um, let's see, what else? Uh, the crown down is um, 14 inches and the nape is 11 inches. So like I said, this is a long wig um, or long to me. So I'm gonna brush the back out just a little bit, not brush comb with my little wide tooth comb um, so you I can turn around and you guys can see the length of the back so here's the front oh let's pull this back out okay here's the front and the side and then here's the back not real sure how well you can see it. I can step out a little bit to see if you guys can see the back length. And then here's the left side. And then here's the front again. So overall, it's really cute. Um, like I said, not sure if I'm gonna keep it, I don't know if it's, um, if I think it's, you know, super cute on me per se, but if you're looking for sort of a mid to long length um, wig that is low density, um, that has some layers, then this one's for you. It's just a super cute, uh, the cap is pretty comfortable. Um, I am a petite uh, cap wearer, so it's 
it's a teeny bit big on me, but I have a 21 and a quarter head circumference and it's just a teeny, um, yeah, there's a little gapping. There's a little gapping that I can feel. This, I would say this is average. This is definitely average, but I think, um, it would be pretty stretchy and everybody would be able to wear it. So I'm going to pop it off and let you look at the cap. Okay, guys, here's the inside of the cap of Dakota, Renee of Paris, Dakota. There's several Dakotas out there. So this is Renee of Paris, Dakota. But um, this wig has a left side mono part. Um, it has the bra strap adjusters. And like I said, I would call this an average cap. It's got a decent amount of stretch um, that it might could fit a little bit bigger. But here she is. And here's that beautiful color close up. Um, the Spring Honey Rooted, it is described as Rooted Honey Blonde and Gold Platinum Blonde Blend. She's really beautiful. She's just very golden. Um, she's not ashy at all. So, at the end, when it said Platinum Blonde, um, it's a gold platinum blonde blend is what it says. So if you're looking for ashy, this is not it. So that was my review on Renee of Paris's Dakota in Spring Honey Rooted. Um, it's a pretty good root and it's a really pretty color. It's just kind of a really nice brown color. Looks great. The way it's blended on the wig. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this review. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Hit like if you like this wig and if you like the review. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.